The Trans-Anatolian Natural Gas Pipeline sets an example on the road from Turkish-Azerbaijani Brotherhood to a strategic partnership that will redefine the relationship between the two states. With the Trans-Anatolian Natural Gas Pipeline, Turkey strengthens its mission of becoming a bridge between East and West while redefining bilateral relations and reinforcing cultural and historical bonds. The groundbreaking ceremony of the project, which is also called the Silk Road of Energy, was held on the 17th of March 2015, with the participation of the President of the Republic of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, and the President of the Republic of Georgia, Georgi Margvelashvil. <laughs> Siyasetimiz de bir. Ve bu layheler, bu projeler, bu ilişkileri daha da mühkemlendirir. Türkiye'nin doğu sınırından başlayıp batı sınırında bitecek olan ve Şah Deniz gazını Avrupa'ya taşıyacak olan bu boru hattının doğal gazla birlikte barış ve huzurun da taşıyıcısı olmasını tüm kalbimle temenni ediyorum. Tanap is the Turkish part of the Southern Gas Corridor, a pipeline that will transfer natural gas from the Chardonnay's two field into the Caspian Sea of Azerbaijan to Turkey and to Europe. The gas supply chain from Azerbaijan to Italy will have significance in terms of ensuring the energy supply security of Turkey and EU countries by creating variety of supply. While European Union countries obtain an alternative natural gas route, Turkey will strengthen its geopolitical position by becoming an energy corridor. The Trans-Anatolian Natural Gas Pipeline supports peace and stability in the region and is the energy route of the future. The Trans-Anatolian Natural Gas Pipeline starts in the Turkuzu village on the Turkish-Georgian border, passes 20 cities of Anatolia along its route of 1,850 kilometers of which 19 kilometers are in the Dardanelles Strait Sea Crossing and connects the Trans-Adriatic Pipeline on the border of Greece. TANAP's territorial 56 and 48-inch pipes and 36-inch at the sea crossing makes it Turkey's Middle East and Europe's longest with the widest diameter. The route, which variegates between heights of up to 2,760 meters to a depth of 65 meters at the sea crossing. Consists of 7,000 special crossings, such as rivers, highways, and railroad crossings. Eighty percent of the 150,000 steel pipes, each with a weight of 10 tons and with a length of 13 meters that are used for the construction of the main line, have been procured from Turkish suppliers. Many sectors, including engineering, consultancy, construction and transportation, are benefiting from the project directly or indirectly, with employment for 15,000 workers. The Trans-Anatolian Natural Gas Pipeline which will start supplying gas in June 2018, is going to carry 16 billion cubic meters of natural gas per year initially, and it is set to increase capacity gradually to 31 billion cubic meters in up and coming years. Six billion cubic meters of the gas shall be made available for Turkey through the natural gas grid in Eskishir. Throughout the planning and construction phase of the project, compliance with international standards in regard to safety and environmental sensitivities have been and remain to be a priority.
TANAP's comprehensive environmental and social impact assessment report and its contributions through social and environmental investment programmes are living proof of TANAP's commitment to both the environment and to communities along its route.